What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So let's talk today about six pack abs versus eight pack abs. Somewhere along the way, six pack had became not good enough. Now we need eight. And a lot of times people will say, Jeff, how do I get my eight pack? And a lot of times those questions come from people that have a zero pack. So I always find it interesting. It's sort of like, let's take one step at a time. Let's try to get you your six pack before we worry about eight pack. And I'll explain to you whether or not that's even possible. I'll tell you all these packs are not even possible at all if all you're doing every single day is five sets of stuffing your mouth with a bunch of shit food. Because nutrition is, and always will be, the number one key for lowering your body fat to reveal the abs that you have, to reveal the structure of your rectus abdominis. And that brings us to the next part. If your diet is in check, then where are we going wrong? Why do we sometimes see six? Why do we sometimes see four? Why do we sometimes see eight or even ten? We've seen ten before. It's all about our structure of our abs. It's all about the genetic setup of the linea alba in our abs. Now, I'm going to show you a couple pictures just to sort of underscore this point. First of all, look at this guy right here. Now, what you see here is a, a thicker, more blocky set of abs. Okay, not so flat. They're much more prominent. They're easy to see. Obviously, a low body fat level, but you can see that these are really sticking out and prominent. These likely come from the fact that this guy is probably doing some heavy weighted ab work because his muscles have hypertrophied. But it also could come from the fact that the linea alba is a little bit more tightly sutured to the, uh, the connective tissue below so that you get these deeper valleys in your abs. Okay, let, let's go to another guy. This guy right here, you can see he has much wider valleys here between this, the, the blocks of his abs. Okay, his rectus is much more spread out. Again, nothing that he did in his training caused these deeper valleys. It's just the fact that he has a thicker linea alba than someone like me who has a thinner one that keeps them a little bit closer together, so therefore his sit further apart. Next guy, you can see this one here. Now you're looking at a little bit of uneven abs. Again, I think all these look good. The fact of the matter is you got a six pack. I'm sure you're going to be impressing people who are looking for that by having any degree of abs. The fact is we have to make sure that you're not losing focus and, and becoming obsessed with something that you're not going to be able to have, which brings us to the eight pack abs. With the eight pack, all we do, guys, we look at the three different rows or, 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 of, or the general three rows we see of abs. We have our top two that sit underneath our chest, right up at the top here. It's what sits underneath our chest, okay? Then we go down to the next row, which would be our middle abs, and then we go down to the last row here, which is usually even with your belly button. Okay, what, where the eight pack comes in is below that. And some guys genetically have the ability to show two more abs below. Why? Because that linea alba is sutured tightly down there too. Yes, it's going to require low body fat level, but it's also going to require that you train your lower abs because when you get down here, you have to make sure that, again, body fat levels are low, but you're training your abs with lower ab movements. Now, some of you might say, well, you can't target the abs. You can't isolate one area of the abs versus the other. And you're right. There's impossible to isolate one area of the abs versus the other. But we do know that scientifically we have different nerve innervations, about three or four different nerve innervations to our abs that can preferentially incorporate different areas of the rectus abdominis a little bit more favorably by the direction of the movement. If the movement is occurring from the top down, if we're doing top down movements like crunches or band crunches, things like that, we see even through EMG that we see an, uh, an increased activ activity of the upper fibers of the rectus abdominis. Whereas if we're doing lower ab movements like hanging bar raises and reverse crunches, we see preferentially an activation of the fibers in the lower area of the rectus abdominis. So we know we can do that. And also, guys, you know just empirically by doing your own ab workouts that doing ab, hanging ab raises, you feel much lower than you do up here in the upper area of your abs. And vice versa, when you do crunches, you feel it much more in the upper area versus the lower area of the abs. So we know that it exists. But if you don't have that, that, that genetic makeup of that linea alba crossing here below the navel underneath your belly button, you're not going to get eight pack abs. It doesn't matter how lean you are or how shredded you are. You can't get an eight pack if you don't have it. So that being said, what can you do? Get that diet in check. Here's a nice recap for you. Stop eating those bad things throughout the day. Get your diet in check. Do your ab work. I recommend six to seven times a week. Yes, I always think that doing your ab work as again as a, as a postural muscle, you should 
do your ab work regularly. It doesn't have to be long. It can be five to ten minutes. That's all, all it needs to be. But do your ab work regularly. Target all the areas of your abs. Target your obliques. Your obliques have an ability to frame the outside of your abs. We talked about that before. and give you a tapering effect. Train for top-down movements. Train for rotational movements. Train for lower ab up movements. We incorporate all these movements into our athletic training system with over 115 different ab moves. So obviously I place a high priority on it. But the fact is, train them and stop worrying about whether it's six or eight. I'm telling you, it's all going to look good, especially if you can build some lean muscle to support it and look like an athlete around it, then you're well on your way to looking the way you want to look. Guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. In the meantime, if you're looking for a system to help you start getting the six pack, the eight pack, whatever it is that you might have, then head to athletex.com right now and grab our Athletex training system. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and your thumbs up below. Whatever else it is that you want to see, this is Watch for Wednesdays, once a week, ab devoted videos. You tell me what you want to see and I'll make sure I cover it. All right, guys, I'll be back here again soon.